Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today it is time for this year's third update for Pandos eyeshadows. And this project was originally created by Alexandra Shesen. And uh, yeah, I've been doing it for many, many years now. And this year I'm having four eyeshadows that I totally randomized and I used them until I hit pan. And then I randomize something new. So let's see how I did it this past month. So first up we have uh, this guy over here and this shadow has been here for two months now and this is the one. So as you can see I have a nice shiny pan. It is very small because I use a smaller crease brush and it was a kind of a densely pressed shadow so we made this little pan. I used it 18 times in total to hit pan and I had to use it four times since the last update so I was pretty close the last time but now it is done and rolling out of the project. So yay! new eyeshadows incoming later in the video next up then last time i rolled the rest of these in and the first one comes from this chewy's place magic palette and it is this guy over here and again you can see a nice pan in that one as well and with that pan and this palette is also now half panned so it will count towards my half pan project where I'm trying to hit half of the pans in all of my palettes. So this guy is now half panned as well and that shade is rolling out. I only used it four times. There was a good dip going in this one so I knew it would be pretty easy and it was so four times in this project but a lot of previous use. As you can see, I've used this palette quite a lot. So, this one is rolling out as well. Then we have a single guy. This is from Revolution. It originally came in a little compact of its own, but then I repressed it into just this pan. And I have used this guy three times, and the third one is on my lids today, or eyes today, so not too much use and with this third use you could finally start seeing something in this one i sometimes press things quite firmly so i think in this case it was kind of overflowing so i had to press it quite tightly so we'll see how long it will take it's not the deepest pan but obviously it's a dark shade and pigmented shade so We'll see how long it takes, but only three uses, so yeah, you won't get much with that. And I think I have not used it since I repressed it into this pan, so yeah, no previous tips or anything. You can still see the pattern of the paper towel. So yeah, that is staying in. And then the last one comes from uh, this big bad boy. This I won in Roots giveaway. Uh, there are a lot of shades, but the one we are focusing on is the black. So, yeah, you can see that I've used it quite a lot. I have used it 13 times. And, yeah, I've used it a lot as a liner because it's the black. And, yeah, the dip is kind of looking like I've used it as a liner. So, yeah, it's a bit more difficult to pan and then this guy this took me nine uses earlier in the year and now this is taking a lot more but yeah we'll see it works nicely as a liner also do have it in the very outer crease of my look today so black is a handy shadow to have so yeah i don't mind it at all it's just gonna take a few more uses to hit pan on so uh, the dark ones are staying in no surprise over there. So two new pans 
in this project in the last month <laughs> and some other pans maybe somewhere else so let's take a look at my pan percentage because that is what keeps me motivated so last time i had 197 pans in my total eyeshadow collections that i'd hit i hit i have, I have that many pans hit and i really wanted to go over the 200 I have now 207 pans so I hit 10 pans in this past month three no two here and then some in the project hot pan as well so it was a good month and that took my pan percentage from 39.3 to 41.3 so I passed my 40 pound percent again. I passed it last year, but then I removed the empty pans and then I had some like come in and everything. So I'm past 30 percent, you know, 40 percent again. The goal is 50 percent. So we will see when I hit that. I really want to hit it this year, but we will see. We will see. Summer will not be as great as the beginning of the year, I should advise. So who knows but anyway i have 207 pounds and i'm past 40 percent again so that is a small celebration so yeah but obviously we need two new eyeshadows to work on so let's see oh this no we don't want this one it would be randomized something by itself but let's see two new shades 49 and 270 which probably will be from this one which is no surprise because there is a lot of shades there but what was the what was the first one 40 49 it's gonna be something older because i kind of have them in in some kind of timeline order oh, 49 oh oh that's not gonna work okay guess that's a mistake on my part because that is a shade that is actually in another project and it already has a pan because i'm trying to finish it and uh yeah oh no 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 i have pressed something new it yeah yeah i think there is a new shadow actually pressed into this pan because i yeah i removed the other shade into another palette because that like yeah anyway it's my brow bone highlighter shade originally but that is in the egg palette because that stands on my desk every like all the time so it's easy to grab so I think this actually will work. That was a that was a yeah confusion. And then 270 it is from uh, this guy, but Venom look like sounds like something we maybe. But I will go grab the other palette before we look into this one. So then we'll We'll, we'll look at them both together so you'll give me a moment and I will double check that there actually is a shade to work on there is a shade we can use I I did check <laughs> so this is the one that was rolled in and uh, this is the slot I also swatched the previous well the remaining shades but this is uh, the place where silk used to be that I'm no trying to finish in another <laughs> palette but these these three were transferred from a palette i decluttered but i wanted to save some of the shades so yeah this guy it is let's give it a swatch and see how it looks it's more of a sheen of a shade but it's old but it still performs quite nicely so this goes well with the blue 
so that's good and weirdly the black looks more I like a bit of purple is in the swatch but yeah I'm happy I think this shade had a pan previously but when I depot it and decluttered and everything then I kind of counted them as not having pan again so that also mixed my pan percentages and everything but I am happy to hit pan on this one again so I don't mind then I didn't peek when I swatched the black so we'll see what the venom oh yeah my eye went straight to it it is this guy over here so it's kind of like a greeny gold which looks amazing in the pan let's see oh yes oh yes I'm happy look at that gorgeousness <laughs> yeah this this is gonna be fun so that's my new color story two mattes two shimmers that is a nice balance and no warm toned browns <laughs> that is always good uh, so yeah that's the new color story i'm really excited i think these two might be quite easy to hit pan on and i probably can have pan in the black one as well next time so who knows it might be good but i probably will have quite a few no makeup days as well so we will see but i am so excited i'm so excited yeah i think the blue and this one will also look quite nice together oh yes because i'm i'm just so happy wearing this bright green today because i was feeling a bit meh because it's super gray outside and i was like i need something to cheer me up and greens tend to do that to me so this is good <laughs> this is good this is me so I hope you are as excited as I am or at least half as excited <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye